Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again, and yes, I made it home safe from Baltimore. That was a long drive. It took me five hours from Baltimore back home to West Virginia, and that was a long ride when you're by yourself. And uh, as you can tell by my voice, I'm going to apologize. It's a little strained. I did a lot of yelling at TFCon. If you met me, you realize that I am a loud guy. And being forced to wear the mask all the time, I had to be louder than normal, especially when we did things like the panel, which was awesome. I mean, we joked around that when we found out we were going to be able to do a panel at TFCon, that maybe five people would watch us. That room was almost packed, and it was very engaging. I was, I was really surprised. I know Rodimus Primal was able to film that, and it's probably going to be up on his channel later on. So that was quite humbling to be part of the opening ceremonies of TFCon 2020. So that was really, really cool. Now, the, this video is going to be a haul video. I know we did one live with myself, Bert the Stormtrooper, Deluxe Baldwin, Cato, and Engineer Hoist. But unfortunately, it was a live video. It was kind of grainy at first. And... It, it actually derailed into a great train wreck. We had so much fun together. I mean, I, I'm already missing those guys so bad. And uh, they all made it home too. Everybody's home safe. I think Hoist is on the road now. Last check-in he had, I believe he was in North Carolina. He had to leave really early. He was the last one to take off. But everybody's made it home or on their way home. Everybody's safe. And uh, yeah, it was an amazing time. And... <clears throat> It was so cool, not only hanging out with my YouTube bros, meeting you guys. That that was awesome. And of course, what's bad is when you come up and introduce yourselves like, hey, I'm James, and you know, you shake hands and walk off, you realize, well, I don't know a James. I know your YouTube name and your icon, but it, it was hard to put faces to names and all that good stuff. But still, it was really, really cool once everything got ironed out and we constantly kept running into the same people, people wanting our pictures. It, it was just surreal, yet awesome at the same time. And I miss it already. It's like I'm ha it, it, it was like when I left the service and all the good friends I made over there and then you leave and we, we never know when we're going to see each other again, which sucks. But that's the glory of the internet. So... You know, people complain about social media a lot, but I've made some great friends via this right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul that I have. Uh, the very first item I got was from a member of the channel, Rico Redstar. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. I told you. Rico Redstar, he came up to me, says, hey, I got you this. I know you're a Megatron fan. I got you the Funko Pop GameStop exclusive Megatron. And he got Kato, a G.I. Joe Funko Pop exclusive. These are GameStop exclusives. These are the ones that came in the um, Lunchbox 10. So what makes this Megatron special here is, let me get him opened up. He has the flail on his arm. So he has no fusion cannon, but he does have the flail weapon. So that is really cool. I know a lot of Transformer fans and a lot of toy collectors always piss on Funko Pops, but I think they're fun to collect. I mean, I got a whole wall of them over there. I'm not going nuts getting every one, but it's, well, Transformer ones, but they're cool. I mean, it's it's something else you can add to the massive collection that you're acquiring. Uh, what's next? Oh, next individual came up to me was my buddy Slade that I met at TFCon 2019. Uh, he is known as biohazard prime he makes pins and other different accessories really cool stuff i'm going to put a link to his uh channels and not channels what's he got instagram and twitter so i'm going to put a link to these in the description of this video so what he gave me a nice little goodie bag here 
Please recycle this bag. I have. I'm going to use this a lot. Okay, this is the big surprise. We'll hold that off. So, I got this little plastic biohazard bag. And in it, I get everything laid out. I got a Eraser, Megatron, and Optimus Prime. Now, I gave Optimus Prime to Bert because Bert's the big, that's just Prime guy. And I kept Megatron. And that is sweet. <clears throat> then, let's see, I got a Dreadnox patch. A patch of his logo, which is awesome. I like that design. He even has that tattooed on him, so that's really cool. I have a keychain with his logo, and I need to make some of those uh, with mine. I like that. That's awesome. Kind of a rubbery logo. Then we've got some pins. I've got, these are the metal pins. Got Grimlock. That's where Wheelie smacks him with the slingshot. A Dreadnoughts pin. And the Optimus Prime facepalm pin. So that, that's pretty slick. Slade, thanks so much for the pins. He also gave me a hat with his logo. So there you go. So that looks really cool. Gotta keep mine on though. That's my that's my trademark. I got a lanyard with his logo on it. A flag. I know this is from Transformers Animated. It is the Elite Guard. So I got this little Elite Guard flag or handkerchief, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, let's see. And that was all I got from, no, no, the, the big thing. He gave me a set of the Magic Square Stunicons drag strip and dead end or pillage and contain. Now I don't have any of these Magic Square legends. I know Deluxe Baldwin and Kato and everybody else just raves about these. I've never messed with any, so I was so grateful. He's like, man, I know you like Stunicons. Here you go. I accidentally ordered two. So Slade, thank you so much. And because of you, I spent $300 on figures I wasn't intending to, but still, awesome gift. Thank you so much. And as I said, I'm going to put a link to his contact information in the description of this video. So let me get all this stuff out of the way so we can move on. Oh, he also gave me, as we were leaving, a Transformers Challenge coin. You've got Autobot on one side, Decepticon on the other. So if you're at the bar, you're not sure what drink to get, there you go. So Slade, once again, you are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get with you and I wanna find out how to make Patriot Prime lanyards and pins and keychains and all that cool stuff because you got some awesome products, brother. All right, let's so move these out of the way. Next up was I ran into my buddy Firetox who had made some special 3D printed rollers for the show. See his logo embedded in the front of that one? So a nice green and gold roller. And he also gave me a army version that's black and green. Completely different. I love his rollers. Oh, wait, I didn't even see this. 2021, right there on the side. That's cool. Yeah, 2021. That's awesome. So yeah, Firetox was there. Great meeting him. So that's pretty much all I got while I was waiting in line for the dealer room. Once I got on in the dealer room, I had two objectives. Bob Budiansky's autograph, Gary Chalk's autograph. Bob Budiansky had just sat down as I was walking up. I was able to get fifth in line and I had him autograph my Transformers issue number three. There's his autograph right there. As I've said many, many times, this book right here, this is what introduced me to the world of the Transformers and I couldn't think of a better, more fitting thing for him to autograph than my issue number three. So very pleased to have that. I'm gonna get this out of the uh, cardboard and plastic and see if I can find a frame for it to, Put it somewhere in here. And of course, next up, Gary Chalk was running a little late. So I'm just walking around, you know, deciding what I'm going to buy. When Gary Chalk shows up, once again, I just happened to be right place, right time. Got right in line. I think I was fifth or sixth again. 
and I got his autograph on the reissue Optimus Primal. I almost bought the Kingdom version, but then I realized that he was kind of heartbroken that he wasn't picked to voice that character, and this is the character I know him from. So I've got Gary Chalk's autograph right there, and my buddy who I've talked about before, Brad the Texas Toy Hunter, he actually bought both of these for us. And he said, I'll buy the figures, you get the autograph. So I got both of these autographed, one for me, one for Brad. So that was cool. And even better was Gary is a veteran as well. I was field artillery back in the day. He was artillery as well. And what happens when two veterans get together? Talk, 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 talk. And it got to the point where I could feel the knives going in my back from everybody in line who'd been waiting. They're like, would that guy shut up and leave Gary alone? So I said, yeah, I shook his hand, appreciate everything he did. And I moved on, but I probably could have talked to that gentleman for another hour. He is a great individual and just super friendly. And he really, really appreciates the fans. Next up, thanks to engineer Hoist, I was able to get the TFCon exclusive Chosen Prime Pistolonix, which is a legend scale version of Megatron, like a mini masterpiece Megatron in black. And I didn't do this in the live show, but I will open these up a little bit so you can see what we got. I'm going to take everything out and remove the clamshell. So there's what he looks like. Looks like the hands are on little sprues you have to pop off. I love the collars on that guy. So that is Pistolonix. We'll get him back in here. I don't want to drop anything. The problem with these Legends figures is everything's so damn tiny. If I lose it in here, then I've got Dipper sleeping right below me. He's going to hear it hit the floor and he'll chew it up and swallow it. So I've got that. Then next up, because of Slade and giving me those Magic Square Stunicons, I had to get the Magic Square Motormaster or overlord which i think is ironic since that's the one figure i really want that uh it's just i've always wanted and he's called overlord but this guy is great and he's heavy this guy is really really heavy so I'll pop him out so we can take a look at him and he comes with a lot of stuff i guess all the minosaur attachments come with him but you got the truck the trailer two different swords two different guns We've got a book of oh Okay, extra pieces and parts here. A magazine-sized instruction manual. So that's going to be cool. So then, after getting Motormaster and the other two, I'm searching all over because I've got to get um, Breakdown and Wild Rider. Come to find out, that was one of the first sets released. Nobody had one. So when Bert and I went upstairs to you know take a little break and head to lunch, here I have this gigantic dealer room floor of Transformers below me, and I'm on eBay, and I ordered the other two. So once I get all of those in, I'll do a review on them. Unless you guys want to see, just pop them out now and then do a big review later on once I get them combined. Okay, so then I'm just wandering the floor. I mean, I'm looking at so much stuff, and I'm talking myself out of so much stuff because I only brought a certain amount of money because I paid for the hotel with my credit card, because I can get points and miles on that, and only brought X amount of cash. So I didn't want to break the bank, which I easily could have, because there was so much cool stuff. It, then uh, running into the G1 tables, it was so bad, because I have so many G1 figures, I'm like, oh, got that, got that, got that. So this trip was mainly third party, and after walking around, we're getting ready to leave. I mean, that's all I've got so far. I thought, I've got to buy something else. I need something big, something unique that actually fits with my collection. And I bought the Generation Toy Tyrant. This is the Stealth Bomber Megatron from IDW. This is one version of Megatron that I don't own. I had the little deluxe figure a long time ago. I guess I ended up selling it or it broke or something, but I don't have him anymore. And I thought this guy looks pretty cool, but the box, you don't have any idea what he looks like. But fortunately with the chosen prime who I bought that, I can't remember if I said who I bought from or not, bought this from chosen prime. They had a display, huge glass display with all of these figures where you could actually take a look at him. And once I found this guy and stared him down, I was like, 
I have got to get this guy because this is a beautiful looking figure. And from what the other guys told me, this is a re-release and he is included with a flight stand. Oh, all the stuff's falling out of you. He's got a flight stand. He's got this massive blast effect. Okay, so here, well, he's clamshell on top of clamshell. All right, so here is the figure. I'm dropping everything. I really don't have much room. All right, there is, I'll go ahead and take him out. So there's the figure. He is a pretty decent sized figure. Love the color scheme on him. Look at that head sculpt. This guy is wicked. And of course, here's the massive blast effect that you get. Also, let's get that back in there. With him, you get, uh, like I said, there's a flight stand. Let me see if I can get this open too. There we go. You got the flight stand here, his fusion cannon, and the little clip that you attach to the flight stand. Depends on what mode you want to display him in. So there is the tyrant. So now let me get him all packed up. I'll probably edit this later so you don't have to waste your time watching me repack robots. So that's it. That was everything I got on Saturday, day one. Day two, we go down and you know, it's slim pickings. Everything's been gone through, but there was one I, oh, I almost forgot. I'm trying to go in order. That night, after we got out of the lot, after Bert and I left the lobby bar, which we were there quite often, there were some people set up in the lobby selling, they brought down like totes of Transformers and they were selling parts of their collection. One part of the dealer floor, these are just guys there, you're trying to make an extra buck or two. So I'm looking through all this stuff and uh, who was it? Was it Rico again? Yeah, I think Rico Red Star once again brought down a, a tub of stuff and he said, hey, whatever you see in here, $10. I'm like, well, sweet. So I'm looking and he shows me, he says, I know you're a Megatron guy. I've got this KO. I mean, there's the box. I have no idea what it is. You, you who, you who, uh, deformation, uh, figure. It is a KO Cyberverse Megatron. Now I've always steered clear of Cyberverse because I thought, man, they just look too kiddified, but my God, Look at this guy. This is the KO Cyberverse Megatron, and that's die-cast metal right there. How sweet is that? And he just looks so good, though. He does need a proper Toy Hacks Decepticon logo right there. But man, once I realized that was die-cast, that was like an instant sell. So this is like become my Megatron trip. I'm not sure if that's his gun or not. I know he's got his fusion cannon right here. I may, that looks like Prime's gun, maybe? Huh. Oh, well. Free toy inside. Free toy inside. UHF reference. All right, so that finishes up day one. So the next day we go down, and I've got like 60 bucks cash left. And I'm like, okay, I want to get something. I don't want to break the bank, though. And there was this item I was looking at over and over again on this one guy's table. It's a figure I've been wanting for a long time. And he had it for 50 bucks. And I asked him, I said, man, he's been sitting here for two days. I will give you 40 for him if that's cool. 40 cash right now. And he agreed. And I got the 2003 Robots in Decide. <laughs> ah! 2003 Robots in Disguise Destructicon Scourge. This was a KB Toys exclusive back in the day. He is a repaint of the Robot Heroes G2 Hero. Yeah, he was a repaint of the G2 Optimus Prime. Man. <sighs> Scourge here is a repaint of the G2 Hero Optimus Prime. And the hero figures were the ones that had the bellows where you put the missile in, you punch the bellows, and the missile flies across the room. Now, I had the Optimus Prime years ago and did not like him. He was white, yellow, and red. And I got him. He was in the collection for a while. Ended up selling him. 
I kept the Megatron. I did a review of Hero Megatron, which is really cool. And a couple years ago, I realized there was a version of this guy as Scourge or Nemesis Prime. So I looked, I've been looking on eBay for a while and I could never find a decent one or one that came complete because he's got the two missiles, you got the gun, you got the little air hose and all that stuff. He even has a card, I believe, right there. So really cool looking figure. I love Nemesis Prime and the color scheme of Nemesis Prime. And what I really like about this one is he's got this really bright yellow bellows right here that the toy does not have. He is black, gray, turquoise, and red like Nemesis Prime or Scourge ought to be. So I cannot wait to get this guy. And I'm going to disappoint some mint in box, mint on card collectors because I will be opening this guy up. All right, so I'm making it home, and this isn't really a TFCon haul box, but I might as well add him into the video because right before TFCon, I was approached by X Transbots wondering if I would review their new and improved 86 MXXI Warrior Lock. This is their version of Cup. I have no experience with the previous version, which I heard had some issues. I also don't have any experience with X Transbots. So this is going to be something new for me completely. And a big shout out to Mike, who helped hook me up with X Transbots to send this my way. So you got a great picture, a lock right there on the side. I love the fact you've got like a G1 inspired tech specs right there. Of course, we'll get more into that when I actually review the figure. And let's take a look at him. I haven't even taken him out of the box yet. My wife, he came Friday or Saturday, and I found him on the dining room table when I got up and went downstairs to get my caffeine infusion. So, yeah, my wife doesn't tell me when I get items in the mail. I can't tell you how many toy hacks decals I've almost thrown away. So let's go ahead and cut this open. It's sealed by the X Transbot since 2008. Let's see what we got. Ooh, he's in foam. You don't see that often anymore. Okay. So here we got the instructions and we got a little card. I'm not gonna open all that just yet. I'm trying to see if the card was metal or cardboard. We have his weapons. He's got a shark decon tail and his gun. And there you have lock him. That's a big figure. You got lock himself. Get him out of here. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. He's got two target masters. He's got one, two, okay, two different face sculpts and two different hands. That's sweet. Like I said, I have no idea what to expect with it. And he's die cast. This guy is heavy. Excuse me. <coughs> I've been holding that cough in for a while. So this is really cool. I can't get over how heavy this guy is. Where's something metal? Where's something metal? Let I me mean, listen. Die cast, man. You cannot ever go wrong with die cast. So Mike, X Transbots, thank you. I definitely want to know the guy, learn him a little bit, and I will get that review up ASAP. And that's it. That's my haul from TFCon. It, it wasn't a massive haul like some of the guys. I know Bert, when he started packing his stuff up and realizing how much he spent, he was in the corner of the room just like, Whoo! but it was fun. It was worth it. I mean, we all saved up. Once TFCon was announced, we saved up every month to go to this thing. I mean, other than putting the room on my credit card, it was money that I saved that I did not touch our joint account with. I told the wife, I said, this is my trip that I saved up for, let me geek out, and I won't affect our bill paying whatsoever. So it's one of the advantages of doing a couple different jobs, working full time, and you know, and, and saving up. Being a responsible adult is what led to all this. It's not that I'm YouTube rich by any means, but I am so glad that I actually was an adult this time, reeled it in, and saved up to get some awesome items that I cannot wait to get in front of the camera and do a full review for you guys. And once again, you guys, you are why I do this. And it was so awesome, once again, to meet so many of you, to shake your hand, to say hi, 
there were so many bro hugs given at TFCon. There had to have been a bro hug break it record. Oh, and speaking of bros, yesterday was the biggest mismatch of people you've probably ever seen in your life because there was a football game down the road that was playing at 1 o'clock yesterday. So our hotel was full of Transformer fans and football fans. And Bert and I are sitting at breakfast, and we're trying to figure out the teams. I don't know. I'm not a sports guy. I'm a big guy, and I everybody's like, hey, what team you like? And I'm like, the, the Avengers? I'm not a sports guy. I've never been a sports guy. And Bert and I are on our phones trying to figure out, okay, well, we, we got some fans in orange, some fans in purple. wonder who's playing. And this guy and his son sitting a table over are listening to us. And he finally looks over and goes, you guys don't know what teams is playing? And we're like, no, that's why we're looking it up. We're not, we're not into sports. And he goes, what, you some of those comic book guys? I'm like, no, sir, we're Transformer guys. And the look on his face was just like, just, and he just kind of went back to eating and I was making fun of his voice for probably an hour. Hey, what Transformers you got in that bag? You make any good purchases today? So <laughs> it was, it was funny. Just, I wish I'd had a camera for the look on his face. It's like, huh? but so many stories. This video could go on and on forever with that. So big shout out to TFCon. Thank you so much for hosting the event. Big shout out to the staff and volunteers. I know we got fussed out a lot for not having our masks on, but still you were doing your job and kudos to you. Um, big shout out to all the fans. There was no issues. We never saw any fights, any arguments, nothing. Everybody, it was peace and harmony and just, it was perfect. It was a great event. And as I've stressed in many videos, we didn't give a damn what your religion, race, color, any of that stuff, you were a Transformer fan, you were one of us, and we had a ball. Oh, and we did the Pocky Chip Challenge. If you saw that live, the guy who collapsed at the end of the video, he is fine. We did a follow-up video with him, and he was a good sport. He was like, that was interesting. I loved meeting you guys. I will never eat one of those again, and I doubt if I ever eat anything spicy in my life ever again. So, All's well that ends well. It's one for the record books. It's one that I will always remember. And I can't wait until the next one. And as I'm going to end this with the new slogan that we all joked about. Because of that individual. Uh, <laughs> it just, oh man, when he collapsed, we were so worried. But he's fine. He's great. And in honor of you, good sir. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and always remember, we almost killed a guy. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-bah!